I'm Buffy Sinclair, and I'm here with my little neighbor, Susie. Hi, Susie. How are you doing? Hey, Mom. I'm well. Okay. She's here with us because we want to talk about my new business, and she wants to do a little interview for a little school project or something. So her mama comes sending her over here across the road. She's always coming over here bothering me and such. I mean, sorry about that, little girl. I mean, always coming over here being a good neighbor to me. But anyway, she wants to be all up in the beat talking about she wants to do an interview with us. So I said I'd go ahead and let her. What's your interview about, little girl? It's about you, Miss Buffy. I want to ask you about the new silicone that's coming and your new business. Oh, she wants to ask me about my new business? My new midwife and business? Okay, what do you want to know, little girl? Wait a minute, what's a little girl like you need to know about midwifing? That ain't for your little precious ears to know. Okay. I'm gonna need for you to sit here and be quiet and sweet and precious. Look at the camera. And I don't understand what's with that hat. Well, Mom, you always having such a neat hat, so I want you to do one too. She wants on a hat because I've got on one. Because Miss Buffy's got on a hat. Guess everybody wants to wear a hat. Why don't we just put a hat on everybody? Why don't all the little silicones and all the reborns just get a hat like Miss Buffy? Why don't you just do that, everybody? Just go out and get a hat like Miss Buffy. Miss Buffy's hats. That's what we can do. Wait a minute. I've got a phone call, little girl. And I want you to keep your mouth when I got my phone call, okay? Because I heard how you've been over there interrupting your mama's videos with your talking and such, okay? I'm going to talk on my phone for just a minute. Where is my phone? Little girl, were you trying to take my phone? Because you're one of them kind. You got to watch this one right here. Are you shaking your head no when I'm talking to you? <sighs> These kids, you know what they need. Like I said, you can buy a horse, but you can't make it run. <laughs> i tell you one thing, but i tell you another thing that Pappy used to always say. If you pull a lawnmower cord, it's going to start. So don't pull it. <laughs> Girls, you're killing me right now. Oh, who is it? Erica. Is that you? What are you doing, Erica? You're sitting beside your baby. That's right. Are you doing like we discussed? That's right. That's right. Make them bring you everything, girl. Don't get nothing for yourself. I tell you what. Just for the fun of it, tell them you want to make over and let them come to your lipstick. <laughs> Stop it, girl. Stop it. I am going to be there. I'm going to be there. Excuse, hold on just a minute. That little girl across the street came over. Little Susie with her little nosy self. I have told her mama to stop her from coming over across that street. That's right. All in the business. Hold on, girl. Susie, sweet cup. You know what? When I'm on the phone with Miss Erica, it'd be nice if you wouldn't shake your head at stuff I was saying. That's right. You can plant some butter beans, but that don't mean they're going to grow. <laughs> Girl, stop it. Yeah, Erica, I'm back. She's still here, listening to every word and hanging on to it. Yeah. But just know that when you call me, girl, I'm going to be there for you. I'll go be there for you. I am. I am. Yeah. Now you lay down and get you some rest. Are you laying down, girl? I know. Tell me you want a pedicure. <laughs> Tell them it. Tell them it. Tell them you want a pedicure and make them go out and get a manicure for you. I don't know what else I can think of. Let me see. Tell me you want some Starbucks. <laughs> that's right. You don't even drink it. <laughs> On occasion. Ooh, that's new. <laughs> that's right. But when you call me, Erica, I want you to know that when you call me, I'm going to be there for you. Yes. I'm just so glad to be your friend. No. You know what I always say? 
Yes. Okay, I will. Hold on. That's right. Okay. Okay, Erica, I will. I'll do it. Hold on. There's never any friends like you. There's never any friends like you. When you need a friend to call upon, they'll be there for you. <laughs> Wait, excuse me. Were you laughing at me? No, Mom, I wouldn't dream of it. Hmm. People need to control their kids. You can have them, but you can't make them mine. <laughs> Literally, I don't want them. Take them. You can't make them mine. <laughs> no, Erica. I promise I won't laugh you into labor. Because when it happens, you know you've got to call me. That's right. Because we rehearsed this over and over again. I'm your special midwife. All right. One more time. When you need a friend, you call on me. Are you shaking your head at me again, little girl? You're just not right. I don't know what's wrong with this neighbor girl, but she's not right. All right, Erica. I'll talk to you later, sweetie. Bye. Love you. Now love you more. Now love your friend girl more. No, seriously. You know I love you more because I have to always be number one, so you can't love me more. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. <sighs> you want to hold this for me? Kids, you can't make them do nothing now. Okay, girl. Let me know. And I'll be over there. Ooh.